In this video, we show you how to install replace cars into LSPDFR. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. One of the best part of LSPDFR is cruising around in a realistic police car. Replacing the default cars is the easiest way to make your game feel brand new and way more immersive. So I'll show you how to do that. First, to download the vehicle mods, you can go to lspdfr.com. I'll put the link in the description. And here you can click the vehicle models icon. And then you will have so many options you can download and install. So for this video, I'll install LSPD C3 Charger. It's a replacement mod. It's gonna swap out the default police car. Now I'll put the link in the description. So to download this, you can click the blue button here and then save it somewhere on your PC and download it. Alright, to install the police car, you also need OpenIV. So you can go to OpenIV.com and here you just click download now and save it on your PC. Now after you download everything, you have the police car you want to install. For me, it's LSPD C3 Charger and also the OpenIV installer. Now to install them, you need your GTA 5 directory. So on Steam, you can go to library and then look for your GTA 5, right click on it, manage and select browse local files. On Epic Games, you can go to library and then look for your GTA 5, click the three dots next to it, go to manage and here click the folder icon to go to your GTA 5 directory. All right, now you have your GTA 5 directory. Let's go ahead and install OpenIV. So let's open up the XC files, click continue here, read the terms and condition, check I accept, click continue again and here just click continue and download the necessary files. And after the installation is done, you can close it and then open up OpenIV. Now here, select GTA 5 Windows, and then we need to locate GTA 5 directory. So click Browse, go to your GTA 5 directory, hit Select Folder, click Continue, and now we're inside OpenIV. So the first thing we're gonna do is enable Edit Mode. You can click the blue button here, and then click Yes. Next, go up top and click Tools, ASI Manager, and then you're gonna install ASI Loader, OpenIV ASI, and also Open Camera if you want. After that's done, you can close it. And let's install the police car. So you can open up the zip file with WinRAR 7-zip. But for this, I will use WinRAR. So right click and open it with WinRAR. Inside the folder, if you have a readme file, you can read it to know exactly where to install the files. But here, I'll just show you. So first, there is vehicle files and ELS XML files. So open up the vehicle files and you will have YPC and YTD file. So this is the vehicle file. To install it on OpenIV, you can go to mods. And if you don't have mods folder, you can go to your GTF up directory and then create a new folder, name it mods mods and copy the update folder from your GTA 5 directory. So copy it and then paste it into the mods folder just like this. Okay. So I already have that. Let's open up update folder and then go to x64 and then DLC packs and here scroll down and look for the latest patch day. So in this case, the bottom one is the latest one. You can open up the folder and then go to DLC RPF, x64 levels, GTA 5 and vehicle RPF. Simply drag and drop the vehicle files from the zip file into OpenIV. So it's gonna be like that and that's done. All right, now let's go back and install the LS XML can open up the folder and here you'll have XML file. You can go to your GTA 5 directory and look for ELS folder. Now if you haven't installed ELS, I have a video covering that. So you can go ahead and watch that video first. So let's open up the ELS folder, pack default and here we're gonna install the police XML. Okay, that's done. Before you open up GTA 5 on Rockstar Games Launcher, go to settings and make sure you disable Battle Eye. So you're not going to online and risk getting banned. Go inside GTA 5 now and I'm at the police station. Let's go on duty and let's go ahead and check the police garage. So the car that I replaced is police cruiser. So this one and let's see if it works. All right, it looks beautiful. So there we go. And also the ELS is working properly. 